All right, so here's my wheatgrass. So the wheatgrass has um, a tray. I probably didn't even need to do this, but I have a tray that has a mesh bottom. And you can see the roots going through the mesh bottom of this tray. I don't know if I have, okay, here, right here. These are the mesh bottom. Um, I think the sides are too tall. I want to get the shallow one. Uh, I think it would make this a lot easier. But with the shallow one, I'm not sure if I want to use um, the conventional 10x20 tray with the 2-inch two, two side highs or go with the shallow um, trays with no holes in the bottom to put the mesh ones in. Anyhow, <clears throat> this is what I'm using. Uh, screen, bug screen, and we disinfect them with bleach, soak them in bleach, and we put them in the bottom of the tray. Um, for the seeds that are small, I did not do that for the wheatgrass, and then I have uh, down here, that's a concrete, the handle in it, and with uh, tin foil wrapped around the bottom of it for the sunflowers. Okay, so these are hold sunflowers, sunflower seeds. They are germinating. I did this just yesterday. And there's no mesh. I'm sorry, there's no screen for them because they're big enough to not really fit through the holes in the bottom of the mesh. Um, so that's what that looks like. But over here, <coughs> with the arugula and the radish, um, this one, I have a single layer of screen. Okay, so I just kind of threw the seeds on the screen. The arugula, though, was falling through. The smaller seeds were falling through the screen. It's kind of frustrating. So over here, I tried uh, doubling up the screen. I doubled up the screen on this side, not on this side, because the radish definitely doesn't fit through the screen. Um, but I got kind of a spot here that didn't grow very well, and then when you pull up the tray, <clears throat> you can kind of see that area. Uh, the roots had a hard time getting through the double screen, so I'm not going to do the double screen anymore. Um, so all I do is um, put some water in the bottom here, and I do that by when I throw the seeds on, I just top water it, and whatever, I just a very small amount of water in the bottom. And then I cover it um, with one of these trays uh, for the first couple of days. That was for the arugula and for the radish. And then uh, after the first couple of days, I just took the lid off. And these guys have been growing great. I don't use any lights. I just use the, the light that comes through my back porch. And um, <clears throat> so this one, this one came out really good um, with just a single, single uh, screen. So you got to wet the screen first. Wet the screen first and then throw the seeds right on top. And uh, you can see the root system on this one is, is really good. Um, there's barely any water in there. Uh, there's a lot of water retention between the screen and the roots right in here. I just watered them this morning. Uh, top water them. Um, I think what I might start doing though is bottom watering um, in the future. And this is the first time I do this. So I'm going to put water in the bottom, bring them down. There's no nu nutrients. Um, and I gotta buy a juicer because I don't have a juicer yet for for the grass and they're just about ready for that. So um, <clears throat> now with the sunflower seeds, I've been having problems. Uh, this is like the fourth or fifth tray with no holes. I didn't realize how much the water level in the bottom tray came up to where the seeds are. So the seeds were like sitting in water and they rotted, um, but they were germinating really well. Um, the last batch I did, but I, I just didn't realize how much water. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do with these guys is doing it this way. Um, and, and then I have another tray at the bottom. Uh, so there's a lot of weight here. This, this piece of concrete is like eight and a half pounds. And then the bottom down here, the bottom one, that's just a piece of wood. Uh, <clears throat> but the last one was growing really well. Like most of the seeds germinated. Uh, the no hull, or I'm sorry, the hull, the hull seeds, they're germinating really well. Um, 
So what I was doing is pretty much every day taking the bottom tray. Okay, see if I can lift this up with the concrete in there. So I was taking the bottom tray, see some seeds sticking out, and I was just kind of washing it out and there's very little water in there. So I was just kind of washing out the trays uh, every day, the bottom trays, and then just rinse, leave a small amount of volume of water in here, and um, <clears throat> kind of helps clean everything. Um, and you don't want to put them in thick. The last batch too, I put too many seeds in, and um, and the water level was too high. Did not notice that. I bet they'd probably still be growing really good. So I'm gonna do like maybe four days, three or four days with weight and the sunflower seeds covered. And then after that, I'm just gonna uncover them and let them grow. Um, with these guys here, um, I'm on, let's see, I planted on Monday, today's Saturday, so like five days. And this is what I got. I planted them in the middle of the day, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and here it is Saturday. So this is the fifth day, and this is how they're looking. But no solution. They probably could start using solution now, nutrient solution, but um, that's about it. And I hope this helps. And I get most of this information from a guy named Brent on uh, YouTube. And I think his channel is Hydroponic Growing. Um, hydroponic garden gardening or something like that anyways you can find him easily on YouTube and I got a lot of his ideas from him and I'm probably gonna buy his book um, it's only 10 bucks and uh, just get a little more information from him but otherwise it's like straight forward pretty simple on what he does uh, but yeah I'm really happy with how these guys come out and I can't wait to start growing some more like this peace out